Hello, 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 everyone around the world. So, today, we have this job. Uh, I received this motherboard from a local computer repair shop. Uh, here, the, the motherboard came in just to put the diagnosis and the customer will pay. Yeah, we are also doing that. We are not here to fix anything, but you are here to tell other technician replace this component, or that is your problem. And uh, uh, we'll get the money. So uh, we have to put some kind of uh, right diagnosis here. Because here, we are not fixing anything, but we have to to be more precise on the diagnosis process. We should go straight to the problem. Okay? So this is the Dell laptop motherboard. Uh, I'm not sure, but you can check here. We have the board number. Uh, desktop. I think we can check. I think we can check uh, V A W L L A nineteen ninety one zero four P ref zero point one uh, model Joe Ispiron thirty five twenty one notebook. That's the model of this uh, of this Joe motherboard. This is for for thirty five twenty one Joe Inspiron laptop notebook. So this is a dead motherboard, which is coming from another computer repair repair shop. So let's let's go. Let's go. What is the problem of this motherboard? Huh? Diode mod. Let's just first check the coils. This one, good. This looks like the RAM power supply. The motherboard looks like this. If you want to have a better view about the motherboard, that's our motherboard on the other side, exactly like this. So we have started by checking coils. Let's start by checking coils. The resistance of coil to ground. This one. Ohms. Nine eight ohms. Okay. This has got eight ohms. But if you look at this power supply, it's very far away from the processor. And uh, it has just eight ohms. Nine ohms, eight ohms. Here. This one. 2 ohms, 3 ohms. Some kind of low. 5, 4 point something ohms. Here. 9 ohms. If I check on the beeping. 0 0.33. Point thirty four zero. Okay, so many coils are beeping to ground, but that doesn't mean a short. Was we have some low power rails like 
the GPU power supply, we have the processor, it's working with one volt or less. So the resistance is very low to ground. We might have some like 5 ohms, 8 ohms, that does not mean it's a short, okay? So what I would do, I'll play with the power supply, because with the power supply, you can see many things. Because you want to know, okay, and check the current. There's no battery, no any connection, no keyboard, no what, but it's taking 191 milliamps. Huh? This is abnormal. This is abnormal. Based on the experience, if you are in the motherboard repairs, if you see something like that, you know what is the problem. In most cases, if you see something like that, I found the, we have the ENE chip here. Can be faulty. Uh, what else? We have the processor here. Can be the one which is taking that current. We have the the GPU here and some graphic memory. The GPU can be faulty. PCH here can also be fault. So if you see something like that, uh, never think it's a MOSFET. I never found a MOSFET drawing such kind of current or uh, a ceramic capacitor. But let's check some voltages. Let's check some voltages. Let's ignore that current and check some voltages. Um, Plus on the charging port, 19, on the current sensor, on the current sensor we have 19, here we have some capacitors here, I can't see anything, we do have 19. 10 volts, 19, we have 19 volts, here, we do have 19, here we have another power supply, uh, I can't see anything here. If we check on the other side of the motherboard, we must have some capacitors connected with the 19 volts power line. Okay. Year 19, year wave 19 also, I need a far away power supply, that's what I'm looking, with 19 volts, a uh, year, year wave 19.6, 3.3, .3, we have this, the power on button connector here. Let's check for 3.3. 3.29. So, can we power on this? We have 19, we have 3. Point something. Let's try to power on the man. The motherboard. No. It's not coming on. So let's see. 
what is taking that current with the thermal camera? We don't have to waste time. Because this is to diagnose, we should not spend more than 15 minutes on the diagnosis process. Uh, okay. What well, something must be taking that current? What is here? Not here. That's the EC chip. The EC chip is here exactly on my finger. Oh, sorry, you can't see. Exactly on my finger here. And okay. What do you think about this? What is this? Huh? The easy chip is called, but here. This is getting very hot. This is getting very hot. Let's go on a microscope. That's the PCH. We have a dead PCH here. What I would do, I'll spray alcohol and I'll put it on the charger. Check the PCH. The liquid is drying quickly. Check what the liquid is doing on top, on top of this chip. Huh? What do you think about this PCH? Again, again, charger plugged. Let's let's pay attention to the movement of the liquid on top of the chip. That can explain many things. Check what the liquid is doing; it's drying quickly. You see that movement? Check that movement. Disconnect the power. So, what you can do on this kind of job? Huh? What you can do? What you can do on this kind of job? Because if that 190 something is being withdrawn by the PCH, there's nothing we can do. So, this explains why here on this coil, we have zero ohms. Uh, this coil, Maybe. You can see on the screen, if I switch to ohms, this is 7 ohms. Okay. So, we have a dead PCH here. We have a dead PCH. So that's how you can diagonize a laptop motherboard. Uh, if you see current like this, before you fix the motherboard, if you see such kind of current between one point, between 150 to 200 milliamps, uh, in most cases you have a problem with the 3.3 .3 volts. Can be the 3.3 .3 for the startup chip, can be shorted to ground. Or in this case, is the PCH. Yeah, the chip is getting very old. 
You can't even watch it for a long time. It's what? So, like, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell. We have diagonalized. I don't think here there's anything that we can do. Changing the 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 PCH. Ah, not here in Zimbabwe. Not here in Zimbabwe. Why? For the simple reason. Where can you get this cheap? Here in Zimbabwe. AliExpress. eBay. Well, I'd find you get the cheap. How much you can charge a Zimbabwean customer? Because maximum repairs charging cost here for motherboard were charging like between 30 to 50 US, do US dollars. So how can you charge this with the dead chipset? You can't. So it's about country. If it's worth to do it in your country, do it. But here, I can't do it because it's pointless. We are using outdated machines with low, which are the machines of low value. Obvious, on a machine of low value, you can't charge too much to a customer. Okay? So, like, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell for future updates. Also, share our videos to your beloved friends and relatives, your enemies, your ex girlfriends around the world. See you on the next one. Bye.